Hey guys, Club Carry here, and as you can see in these four different test tubes, I have caught all these queens. Now these guys are Fidole, or Big Headed Ants, as they're usually called. I'll show you why they're called this in a minute. I'll go find a uh, wild colony and show you them uh, going out from the nest. But as you can see, I've caught at least over 50 queens here. Now these guys just fly in massive numbers. Um, hundreds and hundreds from each colony, so I've really only caught a small amount just on the sm a, uh, just out of a small area. This here will be their setup, just a uh, tubs and tubes standard kind of thing, and I'm not putting them in a uh, test tube that's capped off with cotton because there's just so many. I want to be able to change their waters on out and like take test tubes away if they get mouldy and stuff and it'll just make things a lot easier with this many queens otherwise I just I would uh, I definitely would if I only had a couple queens put them into a regular setup here you can see why they are called big headed ants as you can see that massive one at the bottom of the screen there that is a major which uh, is just they are produced to cut up big uh, chunks of food and stuff and also to uh, guard the nest and you can see just a regular size of the small workers there but these guys as you just saw have been flying for most of the day it's been raining so there you can see the uh, major just in the nest okay so now you know why they're called big headed ants Okay, so now for the tricky part. I know there's... I want to go for a 50 queen colony. And I know there's... There should be at least 50. And I know there's 37 in these two. But I haven't been able to successfully count these two. So I think I'll dump these guys in. As you can see, I've applied a barrier. I flew on. I've got a lid ready if they start trying to get away. Okay, so I'll just get this camera set up. So I'll have both hands free to do this. Okay, so here we go. I'll start off with the first two that I know there are 37 in. So here is the first. Make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content and uh, alright let's put this second one in I think I'll just set them down like this and also the smaller ones are males so uh, they will die off in probably just a couple hours <clears throat> but you can see they've climbed up the walls and just found that barrier and stopped which is good Okay, so as long as they don't start flying, I'll be happy. I think I'll... Okay, so that's 37 in there. Still 13 more to go. Okay. I'll slowly just start... I'll, so I'll get a little cotton ball here. Okay, so 37. 38. 39, 40, uh, wait till some more come to the edge here, 41, okay there's two, so that's 44 I believe, dead. I won't count that one. Because I think there's always going to be mortalities with this many. doesn't take much. I did take some from uh, water. Some were drowning so I took them anyway. Most seem to have survived. Okay, only six more to go. 45. 46, 47, 
48, 49, one more. 50. And I might as well put in one extra, just in case I've miscounted. Now you can see, seem to be massing in that corner, which is okay. I was expecting them to do something like this. But, yeah, there we go. They'll find their way into their test tubes, where it'll be nice and humid for them. Okay, so there it is. 50 plus queens in one setup. Now, guys, unless you know for sure that your queens are polygynous, which it, which means they can have, a colony can have more than one queen, then don't try this, because if they're not, they will simply just kill each other. But I, knew, I know that these guys are Fidole, and they can have, well, 50 plus queens. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, setup video with all these queens. If you want to see more of me uh, getting these wild queens and doing these cool massive colonies like this, uh, leave a like, subscribe and comment uh, what you want to see next. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye. Also guys, these are the leftovers to this project. Um, if you want to purchase this colony, I'll be selling them on the Ant Keepers and Fans selling and trading page, as well as the Australian Ant Keepers page. And I'll be posting this uh, the same time that I put this video up. So if you're interested, check it out. Anyway, see you in the next video.